to find the equation of a line perpendicular to another line that passes through a point. The goal of this tutorial is <clears throat> how to solve a problem like the one on the screen right now. Write the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals 3x plus 11 passing through 12, 5. So before we look at how to solve this particular type of problem, I want to go over and review perpendicular lines a little to make sure that you are, um, you're, you're very comfortable with that. The top picture shows two perpendicular lines and the bottom two lines that are not perpendicular. So let's look at what differentiates these, um, these two pictures. And the thing we want to focus on is slope. You can tell if lines are perpendicular based solely on their slope. Y-intercept um, doesn't do anything for us. So just a quick refresh. In our equation y equals mx plus b, this here is the slope. And that's all that matters for us today. So in terms of deciding whether two lines are perpendicular. So 2 and negative 1 half are perpendicular, but 2 and negative 2 are not perpendicular. Okay, so these guys don't work, they do. The top ones do. Let's look at 2 and think about it as, um, as a fraction, 2 over 1. The relationship between 2 over 1 and negative 1 over 2 um, is that they are negative reciprocals. Negative reciprocals are when you um, take the reciprocal of a number, 2 over 1 becomes 1 over 2, and negative means you uh, negate the sign. Multiply by negative 1. Here you'll notice all that the that's going on between these two slopes is, um, is the fact that the one is the uh, opposite of the other is negative. There is no reciprocal going, reciprocal occurring. So just to repeat, sl uh, the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals. So if we knew that some line had a slope of 3 over 2, you know, you, you could know right off the bat that a line perpendicular to this would have to be negative 2 over 3. As a, as a last example, if some line had a slope of negative 4 over 5, a line perpendicular to, um, to the line with a negative 4 over 5 slope would be 5 over 4. Alright, so now that we know, um, now that we're f <clears throat> clear about this um, negative reciprocal relationship, we're going to use that to solve these kind of problems. Write the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals 3x plus 11 that passes through the point 12, 5. Our goal is to have an equation in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And just remember, m is the slope, b, y, intercept. Based on what we um, just talked about, something a line perpendicular to 3x plus 1 has got to have a slope that's the negative reciprocal of 3. Right? 3 is 3 over 1, so its negative reciprocal is negative 1 third. This is the slope of our new line. So our new line has got to have a slope of negative 1 third. All that we now have to find is the y-intercept. If you're doing a problem like this, you've probably been in this situation before. You have a point that a line goes through, and you have its slope. All that you need is the y-intercept. Since this point lies on, our, on the line whose equation we're trying to find, you can substitute the x and the y into this equation here. So let's do that. 5 equals negative 1 third times 12 plus b. And now we're in uh, the nice spot of having one equation and one unknown b, so we can solve for it. And b is going to be 9. Now all we have to do is substitute the b in to get our final equation, y equals negative one-third x plus 9. Is the line perpendicular to our original line? Passing through 12, 5. 
Let's do one more example. Let's find the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 7. That passes through the point 8, negative 26. So you know our new line will have a slope that is the negative reciprocal of negative 2 thirds. So negative 2 thirds has a negative reciprocal of 3 over 2. So we are looking for, for y equals mx plus b, the slope-intercept form of this new line. We know m, since m is the slope. So our new line um, is going to look something like this. Right? And all we need is the y-intercept. Again, we're in that situation where we have a point that goes on, on this line, so we can substitute the x and the y in to get the b. So negative 26 equals 3 over 2 times 8 plus b. One equation, one unknown. Just solve for b. This becomes 4, so you've got 12 plus b. And just subtract 12 from both sides to get b. b is negative 38. Just write the equation now. We've oh, sorry, this should be minus 38. All right, that wraps it up for um, a quick lesson on finding the equation of a line perpendicular to some line through 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 a given point. On the website, there are um, there's a free worksheet you can download with some model problems worked out step by step, as well as free images of perpendicular lines.